Hi, and welcome back to the Rocket Channel. Today, I am building a new nose cone for our 9-inch diameter, 15-foot tall double arcus. So you can see me here cutting out bulk plates. We used a full 4x8 sheet of 1-inch uh, pink foam from Home Depot. I cut it into 1 foot by 1 foot rough squares and you can see me here cutting a three inch hole in the middle because uh the biggest revision is that we're i'm building this nose cone around a three inch phenolic tube from pml that i then glassed with solar composites fiberglass sleeve creating a rock solid core to build the whole nose cone around Yeah, this is a Macho Matt, and uh, we're here to make a rocket cone. Make a tip on the rocket. The one and only E-Golf, and it's, uh, yeah, the Subaru didn't want to start, so. What do you mean it didn't? Well, it's the battery. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So. We're having to extend the the jig a bit because we got we had to put the coupler coupler on the the, the jig. I said you could be a camera guy, yeah. not a narrator. Yeah. Well, wow. you, you got got a mixture of both. What's the camera guy without? So we're using the same. This is the same jig we used last year, but the the new design that's going to cause it not to break in half on the way up. Uh, so we got a. Fiberglass three inch phenolic PML tube here, and that's gonna be the core of it. Um, we're still using our trusty half inch all thread because we, we uh, you know, we want some redemption, I guess. <laughs> also, this jig is based all around half inch all thread okay. in these pillow blocks. Mm -hmm. um, and so, luckily I saved this jig because I don't think we were planning on having to make another nose cone, but I left it set up and it's perfect, so. Uh, also, we had an extra piece of coupler that is the perfect length for the rocket. So this is what was left from the old nose cone, <laughs> and this will be the new nose cone. This is, these are all our pieces of foam, so we're going to stack the foam up on this tube, and then there will be a little bit of foam past that, but the whole problem was that uh, this tube is going to be supported by the coupler. So we have these centering rings that go in here and then the tube will glue into there. And so it'll all be one piece. Whereas before it was basically just a foam cone that sat on top of the coupler, which is why it broke apart. But I did not design this jig with that length in mind. So I'm having to do some last minute camera guy. Come Fina show him. Come show him. Some, some finagling. Some last uh, minute a like um, add-on remodeling to the, remodel to, yeah, the, remodel. to the jig here i think it's gonna work yeah. so we got it all mocked up here and we are minutes away <laughs> from putting it all together wow so we got macho matt here yeah and uh we're gonna try to uh make the second half of the anti-gravity group proud here so yeah we'll, we'll see look at them horns over there wow oh my god uh, <laughs> The rod's gonna hold it all together. The rod's gonna hold it all together. The rod's gonna hold it all together. <laughs> and the rad shears. Okay, watch your fingers. Can you imagine this goes? Can you imagine this goes right in your fingertip? Can you imagine that? You just fuck it up your way. And they... All right, you can see Matt and I starting to stack up the foam pieces around the tube. To form the nose cone we're using 3m spray glue to glue each piece of foam together after we got the full stack i threw it on the jig and started hot wire cutting it takes many passes to get it to the rough shape of the nose cone the jig is made from two by fours and quarter inch mdf and i printed out the profile on about 10 sheets of paper from roxim 
taped them together and then cut out the quarter inch MDF to form the jig with the profile on it. After the hot wire cutting is done, we threw the half inch all thread into a drill chuck and turned it like a, as a makeshift lathe. Once we got the profile, we went home and laid up glass on it using solar composites sleeve. Unfortunately, I don't have any video of that because Matt was uh, running out of time before he had to go home and I needed his help. So we did get, get it glassed uh, and there's quite a bit of thick weave, which you can see here. And I'm using West Systems Epoxy with West 410 filler. That is the super lightweight fairing filler and currently my favorite filler to... Uh, fill fiberglass and minor imperfections on on rockets uh, this stuff levels out super nice you just need to try to get it on there very evenly and uh it sands so nice so i did probably three coats of this and then when i went to prime it i actually did not need to go back and do any spot putty or anything like that it was just ready to go so you can see me hitting it with the orbital sander right here, and uh, it sands so nice. I cannot emphasize that enough. All right, so here's where we're at with the nose cone. Uh, no tip on it, which actually, now that I think about it, I got this little stubble all thread that would actually, if I had my S together, that'd be a really nice place to screw on a 3D printed tip. but. I've already got put together the uh, the way I usually have done it in the past. Uh, whether I'm fixing an, a uh, like a gel coat nose cone, or when I built, built the Arcus nose cone last time, I take the epoxy clay and I basically just mold it out of that. Um, I usually have more all threads sticking up than this, but. It is what it is. If it comes off, it's easy enough to replace. So I'm just going to knead, knead that together. The nose cone turned out super nice. Um, this one definitely feels better than the one we built last year that got destroyed. Which it should. I guess that's the whole point. But it's. Uh, not squishy at all um, even though we did the same amount of glass so I don't know if we sanded into the leaf too much last year or um, or what what the deal or if we were a little dry on our layup but um, this one feels really nice we'll see what it looks like once I get paint on it but um, first order of business is making a tip all right this stuff's finally mixed up so Gonna try to make sure there's no voids. It comes down to just getting the, sh the shape the way you want it. Um, ideally, it would be a little bit bigger than it needs to be, and then you sand it down. I mean, obviously. We're not going to leave it like that. <laughs> um, this is just giving uh, something to work with, basically. Here you can see me starting the long, slow process of sanding the tip with the orbital sander. Um, I'd like to take my time doing this because you can easily over sand it. So. It's better to just shape it slowly as you go and not take off too much material at once. Okay, and by some sort of miracle, I actually got that, and the lighting in here is terrible, but we have a uh, something that resembles a nose cone here. Uh, the very tip, so this is all epoxy clay. It feels a little fragile at the very tip. Normally I have a piece of the, the all thread go all the way up and I would actually put a, like a metal 
or grind grind the end of it, but um, I accidentally epoxied a nut on there and I ended up just cutting it off. Um, and so there's more of this. It the very tip of this is unsupported, which I don't love. So uh, I'm probably gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Maybe put like uh, some really light fiberglass there. I'll have to I'll have to um, think about it some more, but. Overall, I'm happy with it. I'm going to do a little bit more filling and stuff, and then um, hopefully the wind will be a little less tomorrow or the next day, and I can shoot primer on it. And that I did. Uh, I was surprised after this coat of primer. I really did not need to add any more filler. And of course, once the nose cone was primed, I followed that up with the color coat. This should have been the same color as the red on the rest of the Arcus. I'm not really sure what happened, but it turned more of a candy apple red, similar to the red that's on the Sumo. So I'm not sure if it was because it was so hot, if it was a mislabeled can, or I just didn't put as many coats. But it's definitely uh, not the same color as what's on the rest of it. Now that the nose cone is finally painted, uh, I could finally attach the coupler, and this was definitely the most satisfying part. You can see at the very base of the cone, I have a wooden centering ring that is the same outside diameter as the airframe of the rocket. This creates a really flat, solid point for the tube to butt into the nose cone. On the previous nose cone, that was just foam, and so it was really like the tube just going into mush and it wasn't a very sol solid line um, for the tube to butt into if that makes sense so this is definitely the most satisfying part so you can see me applying an ugly fillet and some epoxy on that centering ring you can see me putting another ring on top of that the purpose of this ring is to hold the coupler so you'll see in a second the uh, coupler actually glues onto this centering ring. You can see me putting a fillet onto that centering ring here. And once that is done, I put a line of epoxy on the inside of the coupler. And this is the top side of the coupler that will slide over that centering ring I just put onto the nose cone stack. You can see I have a, the rear centering ring already epoxied into the aft side of the coupler. That is there and will epoxy onto the three inch tube. So you can see me putting epoxy onto the three inch tube. And once I slide the whole stack over it, that'll give a nice bond onto the tube there. And this allows it all to be aligned and done in one shot. I was on a time crunch. This is a few days before, or maybe the day before I left for Airfest. So this was the last shot. And that, what you just saw, is the most satisfying part of this whole thing. It worked so well, and all the parts fit so nice. Um, I was super happy about that. And it took a lot of restraint to wait until the very end to put that whole stack together. This cone is definitely way solid and I have no doubt that it will make it through many flights. Um, our flight at Airfest was successful. Go check out the Airfest video on Braden's channel that is Rocket Vlogs. Um, here you can see me ha holding the nose cone. Look how beautiful that is. Um, I'm awkwardly trying to get a nice shot for the thumbnail and that about wraps it up. So I'm going to try to post more videos. Please subscribe and we'll catch you next time.